good morning, boys and girls. Just checking in to say hi and to say happy first day of spring. In science today, you're gonna to be watching a story about all the different ways that you can tell that it's spring. And one of the ways that we've been talking a lot about in kindergarten is that the animals that have been hibernating start to wake up and come out of where they've been hibernating. And so in our class, we voted on our bear's name to be Coco. So Coco <laughs> was hibernating in our classroom and I couldn't leave her there all by herself. So I brought her home to my house. And so she has been hibernating. My kids have been taking good care of her, especially Wyatt. He's been checking in on her a lot to make sure that she's okay. And so today she can finally come out and start to see some of the signs of spring. It's really cool about bears when they're hibernating. They have something called an internal clock and just inside their bodies, they start to know when it's time for them to wake up. I feel like my kids have that too. They just know when it's time to wake up and they pop up ready to go. But that's what bears do after they've been staying still and they've eaten all that food and they stay in the warmth of their homes they start to wake up and come out and explore and see all the things that have been happening while they've been hibernating. So I want you to check out that video today about the signs of spring. And I want you to comment with a sign of spring that you learned about in the video or that you've seen while you've been out and about. While you've been home, I've seen so many kids riding bikes and playing in their backyard. That's awesome. While my kids were playing outside yesterday, we noticed a sign of spring in our yard. So I'm going to post my own picture of a sign of spring that I saw in my yard. And I hope that you comment below with something that you saw or learned about, or you can even send me a picture and I'll show our class all the signs of spring that we've noticed while we've been home. And I've also loved getting all the pictures from you of how you've been learning in your houses. I saw yoga, I saw math and reading and I'm so happy to see that you've kept, kept the learning going at home. Keep sending me the pictures. I'll keep sharing them with our class and until we're together again, this is such a fun way that we have to get to learn and to communicate with each other. So I love getting all your messages, your remind messages and emails and pictures. So keep it coming and I'll check in with you again. So happy spring from Coco and me.